Bumpasaurus by Penny McKinley, illustrated by Britta Teckentrup. Dedicated to Olivia and Portia. There once was a baby dinosaur who was so nearsighted he couldn't find his way out of his egg. Bump, 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 he went inside the shell. At last his mother heard him bumping and helped him out. I think we'll call you Bumpasaurus, she said. Bumpasaurus ran straight past his brothers and sisters. He ran over the edge of the sandy hollow. He fell down a very steep hole, and he landed in a very deep bog. Mother, called the other baby dinosaurs. Bumpy stuck. Mother hauled him out, licked the mud lovingly off his nose. He's obviously the adventurous type, she said to father. Come and play tag, Bumpy, cried his brothers and sisters. You're it. And they ran off giggling. Bumpasaurus stretched his long neck this way and that. Where are you, he called. We're over here, they cried, creeping closer. Still, he couldn't see them. Here, they cried, creeping closer still. Oh, there you are, cried Bumpasaurus. He swung around suddenly and knocked them down like bowling pins. Bump, bump, bump. Mother gave them each a loving lick. Lunch time, she said. Lunch was leaves. Lunch was always leaves. Not leaves again, moaned the babies. Now, children, scolded their father. You know we brontosauruses don't believe in eating other dinosaurs. Bumpasaurus began to munch obediently on what lay before him. It turned out to be his sister's tail. Father, she shrieked. Bumpy's eating me. Bumpasaurus, said father sternly. Eating dinosaurs is wrong. After lunch, Bumpasaurus went off to explore. Bump! His head hit something hard. He looked up. The something stretched high above him. Sorry, father, he said. I didn't see you. Father said nothing. I know you're cross about me eating Bella. I didn't mean to. Still, father said nothing. You see, father, I think there's something wrong with me. I feel as though I'm different from the others. And he poured out the whole story. But father still did nothing. He couldn't because, in fact, he was a tree. Oh, well, sighed Bumpasaurus. If you're that angry, I'll have to leave home. And he set off. Bumpasaurus came to the edge of a wide river. Luckily, these logs are here. I don't have to get my feet wet. Bump, bump, bump. What a hot day it is. Funny, there doesn't seem to be anyone else around. But now Bumpasaurus felt like giving up and going home. He was covered in bumps. He was tired and lonely and longing for a loving lick from mother. At last he stumbled into a sandy hollow. Home, he cried in joy and he snuggled up cozily and fell asleep next to a very large Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus was sleeping off a heavy meal, most definitely not of leaves. He was surprised when he woke up to find a small Brontosaurus fast asleep in his nest. Yum, he said, and gave Bumpy an experimental lick. You're not my mother, yelped Bumpy, waking up with a jump. No, but you're my dessert. And the Tyrannosaurus grinned a horrible grin, bristling with razor-sharp teeth. But just at that moment, there came the thunderous sound of forty galloping feet. Ten furious Brontosaurus faces glared in the hollow. Put my son down, bellowed father. Eating dinosaurs is wrong. Quite right, quite right, the Tyrannosaurus said quickly. What was I thinking of? Please excuse me. And he ran off. When Bumpasaurus got home, his mother gave him the most loving lick ever. Say hello to Grandma, Bumpasaurus, she said. Where? asked Bumpasaurus. Here, said a gentle voice, and a soft and wrinkly face bent close to his. Now can you see me, can't you? she said. What are those circles around your eyes, Grandma? asked Bumpy. Try them on and see, little one, she said. Bumpasaurus slid the glasses onto his nose. At once, a wondrous world of smiling faces leaped out at him. 
at last he could see. The story of Bumpasaurus. The end. Oh.